From embodying country music icon Johnny Cash and Walk the Line down to his distinctive singing voice, to the vicious sadism of the Emperor and Gladiator, Joaquin Phoenix has proven that his range is virtually unmatched. But his rise to fame was neither assured nor straightforward. Born Joaquin Rafael Bottom on October 28, 1974 in Puerto Rico, Phoenix had nomadic early years as his parents were members of the Children of God Christian Missionary Group, now classified as a cult. Because of their involvement in that organization, the Bottoms traveled all over South and Central America until the cult's increasingly sinister practices, including alleged sexual abuse and incest, began to disenchant Joaquin's parents. After escaping Children of God and returning to the U.S. with their five kids in tow, the Bottoms eventually settled in Los Angeles. They changed their last name from Bottom to Phoenix, and Joaquin also decided to go by the first name Lee, so he could better match with his brother River and their sisters Summer, Rain, and Liberty. The Phoenix kids played music on the streets for rent money until their mom, Arlen, aka Hart, got a job as a secretary to an NBC casting agent. Through her networking, a well-known casting agent was won over by the family's talent and shepherded them into the bright lights of Hollywood. Joaquin Phoenix went by his chosen name Lee for the first few years of his acting career, but it was actually his brother who snagged the first screen role in the television series Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. River quickly brought his family along. Joaquin had his first TV role on that show, too, immediately followed by a string of small roles on TV. As River's star began to rise in movies with his breakout in Stand By Me, Joaquin also landed juicy lead roles in Space Camp in 1986 and Ruskies in 1987. Stay put for the next hour so nobody will get hurt. Joaquin's first truly big break wouldn't come until 1989 with the Steve Martin family dramedy Parenthood as troubled youngster Gary, a boy struggling with his father's abandonment of his family. The film was a hit, and Phoenix was nominated for a Young Artist Award for Best Leading Young Actor for this nuanced and heartbreaking performance. You didn't think it was such a good idea. Oh, sweetie. I gotta go. But just as Joaquin was set to follow in his brother's successful footsteps, another tragedy hit his family that prevented him from acting for almost two years. On Halloween night in 1993, Joaquin Phoenix was at Hollywood nightclub The Viper Room when his brother River overdosed on a cocktail of drugs. Joaquin was the one who called 911 while their sister Rain tried to resuscitate River using CPR. River later died at the hospital, a trauma that impacted Joaquin and the Phoenix family immeasurably. Joaquin was only 19. His brother had recently turned 23. Joaquin Phoenix was so devastated by his brother's sudden death that he didn't act for almost two years. By this time, Joaquin's parents had split up and his father John had moved back to South America. While Joaquin's mom and sisters retreated to their family property in Florida and the safety of their connection and privacy to mourn and heal, Joaquin went to live and travel with his father instead. Joaquin Phoenix was hit extremely hard losing his brother River, but when he came back to acting, he did so with a vengeance. He decided to return to his given name Joaquin instead of Leaf, seen for the first time in the credits of Gus Van Sant's critically acclaimed film To Die For, which kick-started a fierce new chapter of Phoenix's career in 1995. Now, I take it very serious. After the success of To Die For, Phoenix went on to work with Oliver Stone on U-Turn, then went on to the romantic drama Inventing the Abbots and the thrillers Clay Pigeons and 8mm. But it wasn't until Ridley Scott's Gladiator that Phoenix's talents brought him his first Oscar nomination for his layered performance as Emperor Commodus. By the time he worked with M. Night Shyamalan on Signs and The Village, Phoenix had become a full-fledged movie star. While Joaquin Phoenix's earlier roles were each marked with singular iterations of Phoenix's profound emotional depth, he took things to a new level with his method acting in Walk the Line in 2005, embodying Johnny Cash down to his singing voice, and earning a Grammy as well as a Golden Globe for his tremendous work. Diving deep emotionally and physically to embody Johnny Cash and the addictions that shaped his life and career would also come with a dark side for Joaquin Phoenix. After filming for Walk the Line Wrapped, he checked himself into rehab for a brief stint. Phoenix had never been more than a social drinker before Walk the Line and had increased his alcohol consumption significantly to better understand Stand cash. As he told London Magazine, I was really leaning on alcohol to feel okay. That's really what it was. During this difficult time, Phoenix also had a terrifying brush with death when his brakes failed and his car crashed. Amazingly, he was rescued by documentary filmmaker Werner Herzog, and nobody was badly injured. From 2009 to 2010, the public at large was worried about Joaquin Phoenix, wondering if he was on drugs or worse, when he announced his retirement from acting to become a rapper. This period was marked with Phoenix behaving erratically in interviews and talk shows like his now-famous David Letterman appearance, all of which would turn out to be an elaborate piece of performance art directed by Phoenix's then-brother-in-law Casey Affleck that was eventually turned into the mockumentary I'm Still Here. These guys have seen the worst of me. They've seen the best. They've seen the honest I'm not me. trying...
After this odd detour, Phoenix went on to stun audiences and critics with his role as Freddie Quell in Paul Thomas Anderson's The Master, which earned him his third Oscar nomination. He also starred in Spike Jonze's strangely poignant tech-oriented dramedy Her as a lonely man who falls in love with his computer operating system, to name just one standout role he's had in his post-performance art years. Riding a wave of critical acclaim for his performance in the comics-inspired 2019 drama Joker, Joaquin Phoenix received the Toronto International Film Festival Tribute Actor Award alongside Meryl Streep. The award recognizes decades of cinematic excellence, and during his acceptance speech, Joaquin made rare and emotional comments about his late brother River, saying, When I was 15 or 16, my brother River came home from work and he had a VHS copy of a movie called Raging Bull, and he sat me down and made me watch it. And the next day, he woke me up and he made me watch it again, and he said, you're going to start acting again. This is what you're going to do. He didn't ask me, he told me, and I'm indebted to him for that, because acting has given me such an incredible life." Phoenix also credited his father John for gifting him with an exceptional work ethic that helped get him to this point, but also quipped that it might not have been fully on display on the Joker set. <laughs> Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite actors are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.